Twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten floors nine, ladies dancing, eight maids are milking, seven swans, six kids are laying, five. Child, what in the hell is going on here? Y'all, <laughs> we are back. We are back with some more mess. I am Ami Ami. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am your Mystic Rugrat and uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes, a.k.a. The Dick Jakes. Um, he didn't lost his mind, y'all. Check this shit out. According to the Shade Room and other sources, y'all, Bishop T.D. Jakes gets emotional while addressing recent claims. He's, he quote unquote says, I know who I am. <laughs> According to the Shade Room, Bishop T.D. Jakes became visibly emotional as he spoke about accusations made about him on social media. A rumor about him alleged his ties to Diddy arguably made him the longest running topic on X this past week. Apparently, T.D. Jakes shuts down the rumors with this video y'all out of concern some of you come in to hear what i'm going to say all of you who expect me to address a lie you can log off <laughs> i will not use this sacred day at this sacred pulpit to address a lie when i have a chance to preach a truth I will stand straight up, head up, back straight, and preach the unadulterated, infallible word of God. Because that is what the pulpit is for. That sounds nice and everything, but was you fucking or not? I don't know what to think, y'all. This is a bit too much. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like, you know, someone that was not guilty, you know, would try harder i guess to prove that they weren't um his whole body language and everything to me is a little off but i wasn't there so i do not know i'm purely speculating i'm i'm just assuming like everyone else but baby um this video that i'm about to show y'all really um kind of solidifies my my inkling that i have you know listen to this y'all leave y'all thoughts down below because this one is very interesting it's real interesting how all of these hollywood elitists is either coming out or being exposed for some pedo shit some um gay shit some just some some shit some closeted shit so this is the time of revelation y'all I don't know. In my opinion, I don't believe him. I think that he been slinging that pussy through and through. I think he, look, let me, allegedly, allegedly. Listen to this video, y'all. This gentleman, Ty, uh, Tyrone. Tyrone works on the security team um, for, uh, for Jake's at the Potter's house. And um, it was you know, early, uh, he had a couple of pictures. He had a picture of uh, Jake's and a thong um, with a peach cobbler that uh, that he had made. Um, and then Jake's had bought him a motorcycle and he had a couple of pictures of uh, Jake's in a very provocative manner, um, uh, chest down on the um, motorcycle and tooted up in, in the thong. And so they were, uh, you know, it's always when you are a side piece or when you are a you know uh, person that is um, being used or that is used sexually there's always someone that comes down the line that's younger finer 
better body or or something that piques the person that you're involved with interest and somewhat knocks you down, somewhat puts you lower on the totem pole. Um, you're not getting it as much money. You're not, not you're not on the front forefront of their mind as, as you were. You you have dropped down where you're not going on every trip. You may be going on every other trip. You may not even be traveling anymore. Yes, I I have seen the photographs and possibly have them. So um, he reached out and I wanted the story. I wanted I wanted the story. I was I was gun ho. Uh, he and I. Uh, quickly developed a a friendship uh we're, we're I agree. consistently talking he's uh letting more and more of his guard down and going into more detail about uh what he was participating in now he was an adult male what i I will say I'm not necessarily familiar with, not to say that there wasn't, but I'm not uh, familiar with whether or not there were any young or underage guys well taken care of. Um, but some things were happening, paid, some things had happened where uh he was not he was not in uh the forefront with uh with Jake's anymore and he wanted to come forward because he um he was uh very much upset that this man that he had been um sexually involved with uh, was pretty much um, uh, stepping away from him. And so he was trying to figure out a way to uh, work or, or rework his footing and to get back in place, back in position, um, back in play with uh with uh, Jake's um we kept going back and forth there was a lot of things that, that transpired during that period um there was a number of uh three way conversations with him on the phone um that uh was fit and best very bizarre to you know hear a person um uh, like a, a uh jakes um talk sexually um talk about you know things that they had done and that he had done to him um and that uh you know what he wanted to be done and to happen moving forward. Um, Tyrone, uh, based upon his photographs and his uh, discussion, um, was extremely well endowed um, and uh, was was very... I got to save this stuff for the podcast, but very um, uh, uh, pronounced and aggressive sexually. 